hello dear students in this lecture we are going to discuss mechanism of sex determination and we will be focusing on two topics dosage compensation and lyons hypothesis so let us discuss what is chromosome theory of sex determination so according to this theory male and female individuals differ in their chromosome constitution and there may be two types of chromosomes present in such individuals so the two types of chromosomes are autosomes and sex chromosomes uh, in one sex the two sex chromosomes are homomorphic which means that both the sex chromosomes are, will be of same type and in the other uh, sex they will be heteromorphic it means that the two sex chromosomes will be of different types so in homomorphic say the two sex chromosomes are of same type xx or zz and heteromorphic the two sex chromosomes are of different types that is why it is called heteromorphic and it can be x and y or z and w so in heterogametic sex what is heterogametic sex when two sex chromosomes are different in the organisms and these sex chromosomes can be xy or x and o it means that x and no other sex chromosome or it can be zw uh, which is z and w chromosomes in homogametic sex where the two sex chromosomes are same so they can be xx or zz in majority of the unisexual or dioecious organisms the sex is determined by chromosome constitution and this has led to the establishment of concept of heterogametic sex which we have just discussed that heterogametic sex is because of two different sex chromosomes which can be xy and a homogametic sex is because of two same sex chromosomes which can be x and x so in most plants and animal species homogametic sex is uh, female and heterogametic sex is male so like in majority of plants and animals the homogametic sex is determined by uh, two x chromosomes and heterogametic sex will be male which uh, is determined by x and y chromosomes but th there are some exceptions also and the exceptions to this rule are lepidopterans which includes insects and butterflies and birds where male is homogametic so in these cases which are exceptions the male will be homoga homogametic and their uh, chromosomes are designated uh, uh, with z so zz will be their chromosome constitution they will be males and they will be homogametic and females will be heterogametic so uh, their chromosomes are designated with z and w so their chromosome constitution will be z w so you have to remember that there are some exceptions where the heterogametic sex is male and homogametic sex is female so the heterogametic sex uh, where uh, heterogametic sex is male mm, no the heterogametic sex is um, um, female and homogametic sex is male and these exceptions are insects and butterflies now to discriminate the chromosomes of birds and uh, le lepidopterans from humans their chromosomes are designated as zz and zw instead of xx and xy so we have just discussed that because these are exceptions so we will designate and the chromosomes of these organisms are designated not with x and y but with zz and zw thus in homogametic sex there will be two x or two z chromosomes carrying two sets of identical genes while in heterogametic sex 
there will be only one set of these genes. So, if both the sets of genes are expressed in homogametic sex, there will be twice as much X coded gene products in homogametic sex as in heterogametic sex. So, what does that mean? It means that, say, uh, there is homogametic sex where the uh, in like in human females we have two sex, uh, X chromosomes so there are two copies of X chromosomes so there will be production of more gene products by X chromosomes when we compare it with male because males have only one copy of X because their sex chromosome is X Y uh, therefore a mechanism had to be developed to bring about equality in the quantity of X coded gene products in uh, the two sexes XX and XY and this phenomenon of bringing about equality in the production of uh, synthesized under the control of genes carried on X chromosome is called dosage compensation. So what is dosage compensation? Dosage compensation is a phenomenon where the equality is brought about by a mechanism in the products encoded by X chromosome. Why dosage compensation was developed? Because there is unequal copies of X chromosomes in males and females. There are two copies of uh, X chromosomes in uh, females in humans and one copy of X chromosome in male. So, a mechanism was developed so that the copies or the gene products uh, encoded by these X chromosomes remain same in both males and females. So, this compensation in dosage of genes is achieved either by uh, hyperproduction due to the inactivation of one X chromosome in homogametic sex like mammals or by hyperproduction due to uh, hyperactivity of X chromosome in heterogametic sex like Drosophila. So, how dosage compensation is achieved? By two mechanisms. First mechanism is by hyperproduction where one of the X chromosomes will become inactive and this happens in, ma uh, in mammals like in humans and the other mechanism is that uh, in the one X chromosome which is present in uh, in heterogametic sex it will over it will work more so there will be hyper production so this mechanism uh, happens in drosophila so let us discuss first mechanism of dosage compensation which is by hyper production due to inactivation of one x chromosome in homogametic sex so in mammals like in humans the two X chromosomes are active in all the germ cells but one of the X chromosome becomes inactive in somatic cells so that all the cells which are present in the body have only one of the X chromosomes active but the gametes which are formed have both the X chromosomes active. For example, in this slide, you can see the cross where you see that there are 44 plus XX chromosome in females. So we can write that there are 22 pairs of autosomes and XX chromosome in females, while in males there are 44 plus. XY chromosome because it is heterogametic sex. So when gametes are formed, both the gametes will have both X chromosomes in active form. But after fertilization, when the progenies are formed, in these progenies in somatic cells, when the both gametes fertilize and forms 44 plus XX chromosomes in females, at a later stage in the somatic cells of these females, one of the X chromosomes will get heterochromatized 
and uh, we can see it as a darkly stained body under microscope so this is called as bar body because this was first of all observed by a scientist bar so this is the first mechanism of dosage compensation where one of the X chromosomes becomes inactive uh, and so that the number of copies of X chromosome driven products remain so same in homogametic in sex in, uh, in homogametic XX females individuals one X chromosome gets condensed and inactivated but such chromatin material is described as facultative heterochromatin because this becomes inactive in certain parts of life cycle and resumes activity before entering the germ line. So what does that mean that this bar body which has inactive X chromosome will become active again when this will enter meiosis in germ cells. So such kind of chromatin is called facultative heterochromatin which resumes in its activity and become heterochromatin again. So this is in contrast to constitutive heterochromatin which is found near centromeres and other parts of the chromosomes which remains permanently heterochromatic and inactive. So we have just discussed that heterochromatized X chromosome in somatic cells is called bar body and this phenomenon of inactivation of X chromosome was confirmed by the observation of bar body by Barr and Burton in 1949 in a female cat and it was later identified as X chromosome by a scientist Ono and Covert and uh, his co-workers. So let us discuss the second mechanism of dosage compensation which happens in Drosophila due to hyperactivity of male X chromosome and this phenomenon of dosage compensation was uh, shown by Dr. A.S. Mukherjee of Calcutta University. So in this phenomenon uh, there is hyperactivity of the X chromosome in males and rather than inactivation of X chromosome in females which we have just discussed and um, uh, Dr. A.S. Mukherjee observed that in mosaic of individuals with XX and XO cells where XX have two X chromosomes and XO are without one X chromosomes or the X chromosomes uh, in XO cells was always hyperactive. So this we observe in Drosophila and this is different from the dosage compensation observed in mammals. There is also lack of dosage compensations uh, in organisms with heterogametic females. Like we have discussed that in birds, butterflies and moths the sex is heterogametic but in these cases females is heterogametic and males are homogametic so in females the chromosomes are designated with ZW and males have ZZ so in females uh, they they form large eggs which are called megalocythal eggs and for dosage compensation so that they can match the activity of the two Z chromosomes so a kind of hyperactivity of Z in these females exists and the females have megalocythal eggs which contains several thousands times more maternal RNA to compensate uh, their 1Z with 2Z chromosomes in, uh, in males. Now Lyons hypothesis says that whenever the number of X chromosomes is 2 or more than 2, the number of bar bodies is 1 less than the total number of X chromosomes. Say we have 2 X chromosomes in females so there will uh, be one bar body there are 3 X chromosomes in abnormal conditions so there will be 2 bar bodies so any of the X chromosomes can become heterochromatized to form bar bodies so I hope you have understood the topic 
students uh, thank you let us meet in the next lecture